Ba ba da ba da 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 da. Hey, welcome to Mimir Quiz. I always wanted to do that. I, you know, I was kind of imagining in my head that I was on the Broadway stage, having that cane and the hat and all that. But this will do for now. I have an awesome background. I'm happy about that. And we have an awesome theme: comic books. Comics are quite. I feel like they, they, well, I mean, there, there was this golden age of comic books during the 20th century, right? But now they have all transformed into the big screen. But I believe that amongst you there are probably still some real comics fans who still read the, the, the paper versions. I mean, come on. You can't, that, the Marvel movies can't compete with the real stuff. Right. So, show us your knowledge. Let's make it happen. We got 10 questions and uh, the prize pot is 4,250 Mimir tokens. Oh boy, I do like the sound of that. <sighs> okay, so are we ready? I sure am. Well then let's go! Question number one. What full-size dinosaur does Batman keep in his Batcave? Is it a raptor, a Tyrannosaurus rex, a Triceratops or Brontosaurus? Right, what do you think? So, uh, perhaps many of you are thinking here, <laughs> I didn't know that Batman had a full-size dinosaur in his Batcave. But, uh, well, I'm sorry for you. I guess you just have to guess. Now, the correct answer is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Well, that is mighty strange. We haven't seen it in any of the movies, but in in the comics, it's actually way back that he was battling some... Uh, he went to some Jurassic Park type of island, and then there was a robot dinosaur, and uh, he won the battle, of course, and then he took it home. And then uh, it appears sometimes when they depict the Batcave. Funny stuff. Let's keep going. Question number two. What supervillain is the half-brother of the chameleon? Shocker, Sandman, Craven the Hunter, or Electro. Right, so what supervillain is the half-brother of the chameleon? Well, I, I can give you a, a somewhat of a... Well, not clue here, but, you know, it's in the Marvel Universe. The correct answer here is Craven the Hunter. So the, the chameleon is a uh, foe of Spider-Man. And he can, you know, dress up and act as any person in the world. And, uh, yeah, so he's somewhat of a nuisance. He debuted in Spider-Man, what is it? Spider-Man issue number 15 in 1964. Right, so question number three. What is Archie's character Archie, the Archie character Jughead's real name. Richie Lockhart, Rich III, Max Bellamy III, Bishop Ulster III, or Forsyth Pendleton Jones III. <clears throat> That's a mouthful. So we're moving away from the Marvel Universe here. Now, the correct answer here. The uh, Archie character Jughead's real name is Forsyth Pendleton Jones the third. This uh, character likes food. He likes burger, fries, ham, chicken, pizza, sausage, noodles, eggs, cheese, and everything else on your grocery, li grocery list. <laughs> well, there we go. I actually uh, also like all of those food types. Just if... You know, if you just wanted to know. It's... Uh... Well, this was awkward, right? You didn't want to know that. But now you know that about me and we'll have to live with that. Let's move on, people. Question number four. What was the first comic book with a variant cover? Batman, number issue number one. The Man of Steel, number one. Superman, number 75. Or X-Men, number one. So what was the first comic book with a variant cover? Well, what's a variant cover, you might wonder? Well, the correct answer in any case is The Man of Steel 1. So it was in 1986, and they just simply, it, I think the, the name tells it all. They make several versions of this one issue of a comic book, they make several versions of the cover. So it comes like a collector's edition. 
um, and some people think feel like this is quite greedy. It's another way to sell the same uh, comic book issue several times. Okay, how are you feeling? Are you still in the game? You know, grab all of your comic books and look for clues. You're gonna need it. <laughs> well, let's go! Question number five. Hyperion, Nighthawk and the Wizard are all members of what superhero team? Is it Squadron Supreme, Inhumans, Justice Society or Omega Men? Right, what do you think? So Hi Hyperion, Nighthawk and the Wizard. What superhero team are they a part of? Hmm. Are you feeling ready for the correct answer here? I'll tell you. I will tell you right now. Well, it is the Squadron Supreme, and this uh, this crew is it's uh, they're somewhat like uh, the Avengers, but they're in a different dimension in the Marvel universe. They exist on another Earth, and they are actually very much like a clone of uh, DC's uh, DC Comics Justice League. So Hyperion is like Superman, Nighthawk is kind of like Batman, I think, and. Wizard is like the Flash. Uh, they never got really big Squadron Supreme. Too bad. Too bad. Right. Question number six. Who was Elvis Presley's favorite superhero? Was it Superman, Batman, Captain Marvel Jr. or Silver Surfer? Christina, what's your super favorite superhero? Um, Wonder Woman. I'm wearing the earrings right now. Oh, Wonder Woman earrings. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. Well, Elvis Presley's favorite superhero was Captain Marvel Jr. So, funny thing, he actually based his look from this Captain Marvel Jr. And most of you probably recognize it more easily by saying Shazam Jr. So, Captain Marvel is another name for the character Shazam. And in the comics, there's a whole family of Shazam people. And uh, that Captain Marvel Jr. has a really nice haircut and it has a really nice Elvis look to it. <laughs> okay, let's move on to question number seven. Who once served as Tony Stark's personal assistant? Carol Danvers, Mary Jane Watson, Jane Foster or Jean Grey? Right, so, I mean, we know that the, um, Tony Stark, he, he had his... Uh, his AI assistant, right, called Jarvis, and then later Friday, I think. But also, here's a personal human assistant, all of which the alternatives are famous characters. Now, the correct answer here is Mary Jane Watson. She served for a while as the personal assistant to Tony Stark when his uh, brand and life was in shambles. What a stand-up girl! Right, let's move on to question number eight, people. Who killed Thomas and Martha Wayne? What a tragedy. Was it Joe Chill? Was it Jack Chill, Matt Chill, or Mark Chill? And I just want to Netflix and chill. <laughs> ah. It's We should add a laughing track, I feel like. Then perhaps I would feel less awkward when I make jokes. That I, I mean, I don't know if you laugh or not. I'm standing in the dark. So the correct answer here is Joe Chill. <laughs> that, um, well, he was mugging them and shooting them dead. What a tragedy, but created a damn good superhero. I gotta say, Batman is... <sighs> it's a tough one. It's like Batman and Spider-Man. I, I, Batman is my favorite superhero. If I got to be one, I would, I would choose Spider-Man. But if I didn't get to choose, I would choose Batman. It's more surreal. I mean, I feel like I already am Batman. Uh, let's move on. Question number nine. What was <laughs> first introduced in Detective Comics number 29? <laughs> was it the Batmobile Robin, the Batarang, or Batman's utility belt? Right. So uh, there's uh, Detective Comics. That was like the name for the uh, Batman comics. The world's greatest detective. And also, big muscles, and the ability to fly with his cape. Now, the first, the correct answer here is, the first thing that was introduced, now, in the Detective Comics 29, 
it was the Batman's utility belt that was first introduced. And that is a really good utility belt, has lots of cool stuff like uh, gas, gas bombs and uh, like security hacking systems and batarangs and first aid kits. Super handy. Right people, we are closing in on the final question. Are you ready? Are you ready to, um, you know, this is the final challenge. Will you be one of the lucky winners? Make it happen. Question number 10. What was the first comic book to feature a recurring character? Was it Ali Sloper's Half Holiday? History DM the Bois? Was it The Adventures of Tintin or Max and Moritz? Okay, so this is... I hope you're into comics, because this is way back. The 3rd of May in 1884. So the first comic book to feature a recurring character was... Ali Sloper's Half Holiday. Well, there we go. The... the uh, that character, I, I don't really get it how they couldn't have thought of this earlier, but... Well, the character first appeared in 1867 in a satirical magazine called Judy. Now, and then, like, uh, many years later, it recurred. And uh, perhaps that's when the idea lighted up for someone. Oh, we should make a company called Marvel or something like that. I don't know. I just made that last part up. Hey, people, this was a lot of fun. I'm very happy for those of you who won and those of you who didn't. You already know that there are lots of more chances to win some Emir tokens. <sighs> I wish you a pleasant evening or morning or whatever you have. Bye, people.